Thank you for joining us today on Salon Sluice. My name is Leslie and my co-host is Melissa. I want to remind all of you who listen to us on a regular basis, or maybe this is your first time, to please follow, subscribe, like, share, whatever the case may be for the platform you are on. Now, we do post these episodes on YouTube with video for those of you who'd rather watch. We enjoy making these shows, but unless you interact with us, we're not sure if you do. So please jump on your social media and let us know. You can find us under Salon Sluice on almost any platform. Now, we hope you enjoy today's show. Thank you. Hi, and thank you for joining us today. We have Suzanne Jockis, who I consider is a local celebrity. She is a professional intuitive consultant psychic, a radio personality, an author, and a speaker. She has written the book, You Know Your Way Home, and she is local here. She is on our show today, as in every quarter she will be joining us, and she takes calls from our listeners. So I hope you enjoy today's show. But first, I want to let you know how you can get a hold of her in case you would like to have a reading for yourself. She has a website. You can go to psychicsuzannejockis.com. Her name is spelled S-U-Z-A-N-N-E-J-A-U-C-H-I-U-S dot com. You can also reach her by email at appointments at suzannejockis.com. Her phone number is 503 655 Two six three one. Hi, Suzanne. You have some friends here today. Okay. Susan, are you ready to go? Okay. Uh, yes. All right. Am I? Am I um, dividing my will fairly to my husband? Well, Susan, I'm she sorry. needs. I, I, so, this is Susan. What's your birthday? Today? Well, I'm in the process of doing my will, and I'm wondering if I'm treating my husband fairly in it. I inherited a lot. Oh. <laughs> well, yay. Um, so, I, you know, it feels like you're okay. You, you know, you're the one that has to live with yourself. And um, I, I think I think if you've come from your heart with you, with what you've done, it, you you gotta stay with it. Okay. Does that make sense? Well, it does. Except I, I, I haven't I, decided exactly what he'll get, and I'm not sure um, what's fair. How long have you guys been married? Uh, it'll be 17 years in May. There's sec second marriages for both. Excuse me? We're both on second marriages. Okay. And and what's his first name? Dominic. <clears throat> okay. And you've been married 17 years. And you've inherited from your both? mother. My mother. Yeah. And you and you both have children from uh, other marriages? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, I, I, it just feels like, you know, being fair, I, I, I keep hearing your children, you know, it's like, okay, but you got to be fair with your children. You know, this is their inheritance. Correct. Uh, so I, 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 you know, but you, again, you've got to, you've got to come from your heart on this, not from guilt, not from what should I do or what, you know, but from this is what feels right. Because okay. go to our feelings, we're talking to our intuition. Totally understand. So do do that, babe. I get, I think you're gonna be fair with it though. I get I get I get that the, you know, but really the kids and the grandkids come first. Correct. So it's not like you're gonna be leaving him destitute or something. Okay. That's what I needed to know. I, I just, I just really trust our, you know, trust our, your, your heart. Trust my heart. Stay, stay away from the shoulds. Okay. You know, we should never, we should never do anything from should. My therapist told me years ago, thou shall not say should. <laughs> <laughs> because that's always about guilt. And we don't want to do ever do anything out of guilt. 
Okay. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, Susan, thank you very much. Now we're going to go with Lynn. Lynn, are you ready? Oh, you have to unmute. Okay. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Lynn. Sorry I can't do Zoom. I, the Zoom interferes with my seeing just because of the way it, it stops like every five seconds or something. Yeah. <laughs> the picture stops okay. and freezes. So anyway, Lynn, and what's your birthday? 7753. Okay. And Lynn, what's your question today? Okay. My question is, is um, how is my grandson Clayton doing? He's going to be 21. Does he live in another state? No, he's here. He's here in Oregon. Or he's okay. in Oregon. Yeah. Still okay. living at home. Huh, it's funny. I, <laughs> I could see him in another state for some reason. So I'm wondering if he well, it could be that he's traveling this summer or something. Um, but he, he was a little bit. Um, he was, was in California for a little while and then he had a little job uh, a few months ago in Idaho. Okay, well, that's why I'm seeing him out of state because he does travel out of state. A little bit, yeah. Uh, but my sense is he's, um, he, you know, he sort of, he just doesn't know yet what he wants to be when he grows up. <laughs> yeah. And what's interesting about him is he comes in with a hero symbol. So he, you know, he'd be a great policeman or fireman or uh, EMT or anything where he's like saving lives. He's got, he's kind of got this hero thing. My concern is he doesn't have a lot of um, personal confidence yet. And that'll come, it, it'll come in time. But um, I don't know, he, you know, maybe he'll be a hotshot firefighter or something. <laughs> but it's something like that. Yeah. He, uh, he gets yeah. to be the hero. Yeah, he just doesn't know what quite what he wants to do. Right. And then 21, we still don't always know what, God knows I didn't know. So, yeah, especially these times, you know. Well, yeah, these times have got so many boogeymen, you know, it's like, oh, I go this way, but then something jumps out at me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, um, that's he why he and his dad are not getting along very good. And he's, so he's finally decided it's not his fault. His dad just has an anger issue. And yeah, and, we're good. But it would be really cool to see him um, follow, you know, follow the hero energy that he came in with. Because he likes to, he likes to be the one, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh -huh. um, so, yeah, you know, anything where he gets to do something, even joining the military, anything where he gets to um, save lives. So, yeah. Okay, good. All right. Thank thanks so much. He, I do think he's going out of town again or out of state. Um, and there's something about a trip out of state that really helps him to define himself. Oh, good. Okay. He's working for a moving company now. Okay. Well, so that's maybe, maybe that's going to help him. Well, you might need someone. You never know. You just never know. But there's right. so that's why. So the other reason I see him out of state is he's working for a moving company. But he oh. meet someone, talk to someone, like give him an idea. You know, you gotta let him just have his journey. Yeah. But yeah. I'll tell you what. Once this kid makes up his mind, nothing stops him. Ah. Uh, yeah. Good. Okay. Take care. Okay. Right. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks so much. Anna, are you ready to? Join us. I said to unmute there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hi, thank you for taking my call. Um, yeah. My, my yeah. birthday is. Um, and my name is Anna. Anna? Anna. 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 Okay, sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> Anna, December 2nd. And uh, what is your question? Well, this is concerning my mother. Um, I, I guess I want to get a sense for whether I'm doing everything, if I'm doing right by her. Okay. Or if, uh, oh, her name is Mary Rosalie, and her birthday is February 12th, 1938. I, I missed that. What, I'm sorry, what? 
her name is Mary Rosalie, and her birthday is February 12th, 1938. Okay. And has she been having any kind of emphysema or um, uh, lung issues? Well, she had COVID. What, she had it or has it? She had it. Had it, okay. Because my concern for her is more in the upper respiratory and um, like, yeah, I thought maybe she had pneumonia or something like that uh, or emphysema. So I am a little concerned about that. Does she, does she live locally? No. Uh, where, where is she? She's in uh, New Mexico. New Mexico, okay. And, and, and uh, I also see her walking um, with some difficulty. Has she, has she hurt herself? Has she fallen? Is there anything going on where she needs to help walking? Uh, yes, she um, has Parkinson's and um, also had, a, had some major surgery. Yeah, so her mobility is, is sort of everything to her and, and losing her mobility, I think has really, um, I don't know, it's, it's like she's sort of tired of it all. Um, so, but, you know, she's, what is she, 90, in her 90s? She's in her early 80s. Early 80s, okay. Sorry, I missed the year. Um, she feels older than that to me. So I, I just, you know, she, it just feels like her health just keeps degrading. Parkinson's, my father died of Parkinson's, and I know how ho horrible that is. Um, but I think you're doing everything. Um, <laughs> again, you have to trust yourself. You have to trust your gut. But um, I, I see her. Is she living with two people or in an assisted care right now? She's living in a nursing home. A nursing home. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I see two people around her, her who are actually being pretty helpful. And I don't know if there are two people that you communicate with frequently. Um, but I do think you're getting some good information from them. There, uh, the, yeah, the staff is kind of mixed. There's some really good people and some not so good people. Um, okay. Well, I see, I see two that are pretty, pretty significant. Um, but Parkinson's is horrible. And it's, you know, with her and her mobility has got her really, I think her lack of mobility has got her frustrated. So. Mm, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a lot of times, interesting, um, a lot of times with Parkinson's, you know, I, earlier I said this, there's something going on upper respiratory, upper body. Um, they can't swallow. They lose their ability to swallow. Mm. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, I could, you know, all I see are clues. I don't see. Um, for sure. I really, don't, I really don't see the future. I just see clues. But I guess the clues what, I see is her lack of mobility and, and something up up above in her chest area or upper respiratory could be lack of the ability to swallow. I see. But you're doing everything you can since you're not, you're not in New Mexico, are you? Yeah, I'm not in New Mexico, and um, she kind of expects me to just fix fix it for her, <laughs> and um, to do that would would be a um, significant cost of, you know, jobs and, uh, well, you can, yeah. I remember when I used to go see my dad at the nursing home, he, he grabbed me by the arm and say, get me out of here. Yeah. Hide. <laughs> you know, he was going to hide behind me as we walked down the hall. <laughs> it was see him leaving. And I'm like, dad, you can't leave. And it's really hard. It's so hard. I feel, I feel, I feel your heart because I've been there, you know, it's an ugly, ugly disease, but you well, have to make the right, you know, you have to make the good decision for her and you can't just quit your life to go, you know, do whatever she needs you to do. You've got to trust that she's in the right hands and I think she is. Okay. Well, thank you. I, I need to hear that like almost daily. So, <laughs> well, it's a hard one. That Parkinson's is a very hard one. Good luck. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Anna. How about Donna? Are you ready, Donna? Yes. All right. Yes. Um, go ahead and give her your, uh, your birth date.
what's going on, Donna? What do you want to? What, what's your question? Oh, I have a couple of questions, but um, let me start with this. So I have uh, a ninety, almost ninety-two-year-old mother who lives in Southern California, and I'm in Portland. And um, she, I have plans to go visit her. Uh, my husband and I do uh, for about a week, uh, a couple of weeks from now. And she is very hesitant for us to come as much as I think she really wants us to. So she says she has an intuition that we should wait until after uh, my one of my daughters is getting married in Portland at the end of May. And she feels like we should wait until after them to come. I'm wondering whether that's intuition or fear. She tends to be very fearful. What's her first name? Dottie. Turning 92 this May. Wow. She yeah. feels pretty sturdy, actually. And she feels like she's in pretty sound mind. So, um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm leaning to, you know, the pictures I'm being shown are trust her intuition. If she says it's intuition, <laughs> say, okay, mom, we're going to trust Interesting. Her. She is very intuitive. So, yeah, um, no, I go with it. But, I just, but she's also very anxious. So, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? It's hard to know uh which yeah. is which interesting i mean we're vaccinated she's vaccinated uh i have a sister-in-law and brother-in-law who live a mile from her who have been caring really wonderfully for her during the pandemic um yeah. at times that i might have you know would have been there yeah. and i'm also sort of wanting to go to help them because my brother-in-law is having hip replacement surgery that week and they're not going to be very available to help her so they would really like us to come as well um so just kind of caught a little bit i don't know and she it feels like you should trust her if, if those are her wishes okay. honestly. um you don't want to add anxiety on top of anxiety that's true it might be too much for her good point no, that's what i'm good that's point. what i'm getting it's like it'll okay. just create hypertension and you don't need that yeah she's great already got that. <laughs> great is it okay to ask another question i don't know if i if there's time or i can wait Okay, um, so the uh, two daughters, one in Portland and one in New York, both of whom uh, have gotten married and will be getting married during this pandemic time, which has been its own thing, um, both of them wanting to have children. And I'm wondering if you see that in their futures, if you can tell in any way whether they're they may have I'm children. Throwing both of them out, it's hard for me to tell. You know which. One okay, I'm should I give you one? <laughs> First name yes. is the birthday of the oldest. Oldest is Rachel, is her birthday. And um, how old is she? No, is she the one that's getting married shortly? She got married, they had planned to get married in Portland in September, but ended up getting married with just a tiny, tiny group of people in New York and then are coming here in November to do some kind of celebration if awesome. the pandemic allows, awesome. yeah. And then what's the other girl's first name? Lauren. Okay. Well, I actually see kids around both of them. So I do think they'll be grandchildren. Um, for some reason, Lauren really stood out. So mm -hmm. I'm wondering if mm -hmm. she's more eager to have a, a baby. Yes, yes. I think that's uh, the point with getting married. I think that's all about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I think that you know the first could come through Lauren. Okay. Uh huh. All that right. makes sense. That makes sense. All right. mm -hmm. Well, good time. Interesting. You. Great. Okay. Thanks, Suzanne. Thanks, Donna. Bye. And we have one person left. Thank you for mm -hmm. being so patient, Michelle. Hi, thank you. Hi, thanks Hi, for Michelle. joining us. Hi, Suzanne. Okay, eight six. Uh -huh. Go ahead. What's your question? So my question is, um, what you see as far as any changes in my career, any changes at all um, with what I do? for a living. Okay. And how many years have you been doing this? I've been doing this for 28 years at the same place. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You've been at it a while. Um, so 
is there any part of your job where you do a lot of the teaching and training? There, there, well, it's constant teaching and training, but I have done that in the past. Um, is that coming up? Yeah, yeah. Teaching That's... and training keeps showing up. Do, okay. Do that? that might be a great idea. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm a nurse. I'm in the hospital. It's like the worst job to have right now. And right. I love it and I love teaching, but it's just, I need something new. Yeah, I, um, I always say don't throw the baby out with the bathwater when we're ready to make changes. Um, yes, no, I can't, I can't make a change. You know, so how can you, how can you morph it into something new, but staying kind of in the same field? And I could see you teaching and training. So you may be asking yeah. some of that, that might be the, the new direction, but something shows up around your birthday. Um, like, oh, that, that could work, whatever it is, whatever the shift is, um, could show up around your birthday. That sounds great. I would love that. Yeah, it's scary making changes, but it's it's nice to hear that maybe I should go that direction. I think so. It opens, well, it's, you know, symbol wise, I can see you making presentations in front of groups of people. Okay, so that's my teacher, what's one of my teacher trainer symbols. Um, it can also be, you know, making uh, like training videos. If, if you've ever been asked to be part of a training video, um, it could be something like that. Um, but I don't think you're bailing out of nursing. No, I don't think so either. Um, is it here in this area? Is that, is that possible to see if it's in a new yeah, place? It feels like right where you're at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this has been really hard times and, and certainly um, a lot of folks are feeling restless about mm. what they've been doing. You know, it's, it's really bringing us home to reflect on ourselves and yeah. ask ourselves, you know, is this really what I want to be when I grow up? Um, the other piece that's around you that I want to urge you to look at is you got, you've got a lot of artistic things that are showing up. And I'm wondering if you do any um, painting or sculpting or any kind of artwork. That's really cool. I, I love it. Um, okay. I just haven't quite tapped. I haven't quite tapped into that fully though. Well, it might be time to take start taking some classes uh, because it feels like a lot of your restlessness has to do with um, your creativity being blocked, frankly. And of course, sounds... teaching would unblock it, but not. <laughs> but art and exploring your own artistic nature would unblock it in a in a happy way. <laughs> oh my gosh, you that know, is so you know, smart! No, thank you. you. That You're makes a lot of sense. It just re reaffirms. Thank you. Good, good, good. good. Well, thank you. Now, Suzanne, on my screen that you can't see, I have listed out the different clairs, and I keep hearing from you that you keep seeing. Do you have other clairs that you use as well? What do you, you keep listing? What? I, I'm the, sorry, I don't understand. You know how they, they talk about the different clairs that people have when they ha are psychic? Clairs? Yeah. That, like the, I don't know what that is. The clairvoyance, clairsentience, oh, clairaudience. Oh. Which ones do you use? I know that you keep saying sight. Do you yeah. do you have other ones as well? Well, I think I I say I hear things. You know, I'll hear somebody say a name, or I'll hear. You know, it's uh, that I don't. I I think I might be clear audience, um, but mostly I just see pictures, uh, Leslie. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious there. Yeah. Now for. Our, some of you on here, did you all find us through Facebook? Is that how you did? So what I would love is like when some of these things, just to give us follow-ups on like when the grandbabies are born or, you know, if Michelle, if you do get a job offer coming up and around your birthday and, you know, and how your grandson's doing, if the well's growing, I just want to, I want to have some feedback and see how things are. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. I'd, feedback too. I'd love to, you know, reconnect with you guys once you guys have some 
stuff going on. Yeah. And then, Somebody. yeah, if any of you want to have a full reading from Suzanne, Suzanne, would you please let them know how they can get in touch with you? The best way to uh, schedule with me is at my website, and that's SuzanneJockus.com, S-U-Z-A-N-N-E-J-A-U-C-H-I-U-S.com. And uh, on that page, you can uh, contact me. And uh, that's usually the best way. However, you can also call me 503-655-2631. Uh, Did you get that down over there, Donna? Is it Donna? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I saw her writing it. So I just wanted to make sure she got that phone number. Well, I want to thank all of you for coming. And um, also you guys can follow Suzanne on Facebook if you don't already. Anybody who's listening to this show on our podcast, you can also go to her website or go to her Facebook page. Um, you can come to our Facebook page, which goes back to her Facebook page. <laughs> We're all connected. Um, Suzanne, I thank you so much for joining us today. I look forward I'd to also seeing like you. To, I'd also yeah. like to say on Facebook, I, I have Suzanne Jockas, but I also have Psychic Suzanne. And on that page, it's, it's totally um, stories, stories of uh, the, some of the work I've done. And so it, that's a really interesting page. I think I, I don't know which one I follow. Now I have to make sure I follow both. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. All right. Thank Thanks, Suzanne. Uh -huh. See you in a, in a couple months. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, ladies. What do you think? Love her. Awesome. <laughs> She's the best. Thank you. That was, that was great. I've actually known Suzanne for a really long time. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know if you know, she would know me well. My my 36 year old daughter was in fourth grade when I went to Suzanne for the first time to have her read, and it was uncanny the stuff yeah, yeah. that she came yeah. up with. So, and uh, I'm a therapist in private practice, and so I refer lots of clients to her. Yeah, because it's really helpful to just have a different lens. Mm -hmm. So she's awesome. Yeah, yeah she's kind of like I it. Agree. Oh. It's nice to have the confirmation. I think we all kind of have our little intuitions, but it's almost like going to her and talking to her is just that extra little, uh, you know, confirmation verbally hearing it. It's like, oh yeah, okay, you know, thank you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, she supports our intuition, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. All right, well, thank you ladies for joining us.